So we're back from our summer holidays for a new season and I'm so thrilled because I've so been craving to get back into the studio and dancing again and rehearsing and performing. And the very first thing we do every day, every morning, and we'll be doing this for the rest of our careers, is ballet class. And this pretty much is going through every step in classical ballet. Uh, on the one note, this actually is very important because we're warming our bodies up to prevent injury. But on the other hand, it's also very important because we're practicing the steps we're going to be performing. And we want to try and practice and perfect them. Um, so we become better technicians. But we also get to use our artistry when we actually get on stage and start acting the roles out, which is also very important for a dancer. The first ballet we're doing is Phantom of the Opera, Phantom the Ballet. And I do love this ballet, it's very exciting. Um, I play the role of uh, Raoul, and that's Christine's lover. So there's lots of fight scenes, lots of love pas de deux, uh, lots of dramatic content, which for me is great. Now we only have two weeks to get this show together, um, which is a very short time to get a show on the stage. So the press has already gone out to try and help promote the show, and we are back in the studio, and we're looking at archive footage of old shows and old performances to help refresh the steps. Uh, now we have toured this ballet all around Europe and also all around Canada, but after a while of not touching a ballet, you kind of forget the steps a little bit. Now we've already got the set out, which is a little unusual, but there's a lot of set manipulation and also a lot of set movements, so that requires a lot of practice, so we have the set out already. We start our rehearsals actually in the studios, and we have our director who choreographed the ballet uh, taking the rehearsals and giving us direction on it. Um, which is also fantastic. And before you know it, we're actually in the theatre. Now this is the next step to getting the show ready, and we start off actually doing um, like tech runs and dress rehearsals. Now tech runs usually involves all the technical stuff, so that'll be sort of the lights, an orchestra, the music, wearing your costume, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to combine everything together to make everything really tight for a really good performance. Now for me, this is the most exciting part about being a performer, is getting onto the stage and performing. It isn't necessarily um, in, the, in the rehearsal studio practicing, it's actually getting on stage and performing. For, for me and for a lot of dancers, I know that's the most important thing and that's the most exciting part about it, but when you're in the studio, um, and moving into the theatre like we have right now, um, you start to get the adrenaline, you start to get the buzz, and that's kind of part and parcel of the whole job. I mean, that's kind of, you know, one of the most important things about being a dancer is, is getting that buzz. For me, I love it, and that's kind of what excites me about dancing. And the next step, we obviously get into fix our hair, do our makeup, get into costumes. Now, we usually do this like an hour before the actual show. Uh, and just an hour, so that gives us an hour to uh, keep warming up, keep practicing steps, going over choreography, going over changes, um, thinking about corrections, and then we sort of warm up, keep stretching, and then we get on stage again with the curtains closed while the audience are coming in. And that is usually our time to just keep going over steps, the girls get their punches on, get on their legs, and um, I mean that's essentially what we do to try and prepare for a show. And the end result is pretty much this. So there you have it, this gives you a small little glimpse into what it's like to put together a show for a ballet company. Um, of course, it won't really show just how much hard work goes into it, but you have an idea. <laughs>